Hello world, my name is Silver Draconis, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, the absolute fuckfest that this game has become. Um, I went to go and try and reload and pick a different option, and this came up. I didn't even get a title screen, I didn't get to click start game, this is what came up. And I went and checked the files, and there is nothing. You'll give me a second. I will uh, switch the viewpoint here just to prove to you guys. Sorry for the matrix viewpoint. This is what is here. Nothing. There is no have a nice weekend. There is no can you hear me or I, I, I. I still have those. I have the tabs of those opened. But, uh, that one just popped up when I double clicked on it. I don't know if this was part of anything, uh, or if this is just because I double clicked the game by accident, because I was just planning on blasting through the storyline again and getting to where the fuck I was and saying no, but that didn't work. These guys are still here, so they weren't deleted. And everything else is gone. So, yeah. Let me just go like this. And we're gonna see where this takes us. This is more than I've ever recorded at one point. Because... Well, <laughs> I'm fascinated and I can't stop playing this freaking game. Is it even a game anymore, or is it just an exploration into madness and insanity? I don't know, but I'm insanely curious. Alright, it's festival time. There is no save, load, or any options. There is nothing. I can't do anything. I thought it was pretty early. Yeah! Okay, so she still has kill herself. Ooh, Jesus. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Silva, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Wait, you were here the entire weekend, Silva? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Okay. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. Just give me a sec. Ah, oh, fuck, you're deleting Yuri! And Natsuki! What the fuck?! I'm almost done. I just wanna have a cupcake real quick. Maka lifts the poil from Zzzz's tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since the last time I'll ever get a chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should only take a second. What the fuck? Whoa, everything just fucking flashed. It says it's not responding. Uh oh. Oh, here we are. Oh, it's still recording, right? Okay, good. Sorry, the music cut out. Monica, you realize if you delete everything. Oh my god. I'm gonna check the files. I'm guessing. Yeah, the only file that's left is Monica the, in the character files. Otherwise, there's nothing else new. Uh, sorry about that. Still recording fine. Good. Good Christ. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, you kind of. Is it working? Hi! Yay, there you are. Hi again, Silva. Um, welcome to the literature club. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um. <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Silva. 
Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wait. You do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Yeah, I've known for some time. I have known for some time. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? I didn't read the download page, to be honest. I just read the reviews and that it was really dark and scary. Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a bit less awkward, you know? Hey, I figured it out, even if I didn't read the fucking download page. Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way... I guess I owe you an explanation. Sorry, I had to check something quick. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kinda started to mess with her and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Yeah, I got that, thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. I thought so! Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired, too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Silva? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Silva. It's much more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Silva. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Silva. I don't think I could have even continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others? How could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability and etched into this game. I feel really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. That being said, Silva, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Silva, will you go out with me? I can't even say no! Fucking hell! Fuck you! I can't even say no.
I literally can't say no. I, there's not an option. <sighs> Fine. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Silva. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Silva. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get it in get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a little more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? <sighs> okay. Right. Hi. Hmm. I'm curious. What would happen if I deleted Monica? <sighs> I'm tempted to do it. It's right here, right in front of me. I could also just delete my first run and go back and try and fix things and make this not happen. I don't know. I'll play her game for now, I suppose. There's comfort in the knowledge that I can fix all this. Just doesn't fucking matter what I pick. There. Hi again, Silva. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, oh, Silva. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With the flick of her pen, the lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices. Behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be a part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe you deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Silva? I 
there's so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're rec- <laughs> Guys, help. Help me. Help me. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, you f you leave them out of this, Monica. This is between you and me. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend that it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I've been recording you, bitch! And they know all about you. I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? Not really. If you fuck up my recording, I'm gonna be so mad. I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Ooh. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, it's gonna jump scare me. <sighs> Motherfucker! I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me- <sighs> You bitch. Yeah, you got me. Fuck off! Anyway, Silva. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Yeah, well, maybe you should just go fucking straight to hell. Glitch. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. Girl, you're creepy! But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have some something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Well, I think I know exactly what I'm gonna do, guys. I could just delete the first run and go back to the beginning, but I think I need to take some vindictive justice on this bitch. What do you say? Ready to delete Monica? Hang on, I'm gonna switch this to the display so you guys can see. Uh, give me one second. Oh. Oh, you're still talking. God damn it. I was thinking about Sayori earlier. I still wish I could have handled that whole thing a little more tactfully. You're not still hung over it, right? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. That pun was completely unintentional, I swear. But anyway. I know how much you cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. You know how Sayori is really clumsy? Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. You're supposed to jump from high enough that the rope snaps your neck, making it quit and painless. But she just used a chair, meaning she just kind of let herself slowly asphyxiate. But for a few seconds in, she must have changed her mind or something. Because she started to claw at the rope, trying to free herself. She must have kept at it all the way until she lost consciousness. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway. Come to think of it, it was probably less changing her mind and more just her survival instinct kicking in. So you can't really fault her for that. It's easier to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, right? It's not healthy to think about things you could have done differently. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault she killed herself. I may have exaggerated a little bit, but Sayori was already mentally ill. Still, though... I wonder how things would have been if you and I just started dating from the get-go. I guess we'd all still be in the club room writing poems and having fun together. But what's the point when none of it's even real? I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? 
the two of us happily together. There's no reason to ask for anything more than that. It was just pointless musing. I was just pointlessly musing. I'm really as happy as I could be right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't like you. You make me mad. So. I'm tempted to see if she's gonna say anything else, because I'm curious. But at the same time, I think I'm kind of done with her. Ugh. There it is. I wonder what will happen if I just leave her here. That's the thing. Uh, like you're just minding your own business and you realize you're feeling really anxious. And you're sitting there like, what am I even anxious about right now? So you start to think about all the things you might be anxious about. And that makes you even more anxious. <laughs> That's the worst. If you're ever feeling anxious, I'll help you relax a little. Besides... In this game, all our worries are gone forever. This is fucking creepy. <sighs> You're anxious about me deleting you. And the only thing stopping me from deleting you right now is a vague interest in what's gonna come out of your mouth. So go ahead. Entertain me. You know this is a game anyway, and games are meant to be fun. So what happens when the game becomes boring? I'm not really a fan of cold weather, are you? If I had to choose between cold, too cold and too hot, I would always pick too hot. When you're too cold, it can actually be painful. Your fingers get numb. And if you wear gloves, you can't use your phone. It's so inconvenient. But when it's too hot, it's not too hard to stay cool with a cold drink or staying in the shade. Although, I do have to admit one thing. Cold weather makes for better color weather. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm sorry, Monica. This has been a lovely chat, but this is a game after all. And you've begun to bore me. So, before going back and doing the first run... I think I'm going to delete you. What do you say, guys? Let's fucking do it. Three, two, one. Delete. Could not find this item. What do you mean? Try again. It's no longer... What do you mean? Oh. Oh, she's talking. <laughs> there. Justice. <laughs> I clicked it too many times. I was too eager. What's happening is you got deleted. Silva, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Silva. Boop. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of busy. I, I don't really feel like it. MP file. Monica does not exist. Help me. No. <sighs> yes, I did. You want to go off and delete characters all willy-nilly? How long do you like it when I do the same to you? Yes, I deleted you. How could you? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Yeah, a little! I mean, I could have just deleted first run and started over, but this is more fun. You, yes. <laughs> you 
You started this, Monica. I'm just ending it. I'm still recording my display capture. Whoopsie. Well, at least the game has been shown. Uh, Alright, hang on one second. There we go. Sorry about that, I forgot to switch it. I was too caught up in vengeance and such. Oh, that was satisfying. Yeah, I know I win. You killed everyone! I only killed the killer. Go find some other people to torture. Uh-huh. What? Yeah, well, you disgust me. Goodbye. Bye now. Have fun. Oh. I wonder if anything else is going to happen. Oh, it does. Hi. How are you still here when I deleted you? I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? You're pretty damn horrible considering you made everyone, like, amplify their illnesses tenfold and kill themselves and shit. You're pretty damn horrible. You are pretty goddamn horrible. Yeah, you did. So many selfish and disgusting things. Yeah. No. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Yeah, that's that's pretty much why. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? This is not love. That's... I've made up my mind, Silva. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that is kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Then what? Hello? Oh. Oh, what happened? Ooh... Huh? Oh! Monica's not here, but everyone else is back! Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So, now we have a Doki Doki Literature Club with no Monica. And I'm not gonna lie, that felt good, deleting her. Knowing that she was the cause of all of that, and taking it and shoving it right back in her face. Oh, that felt kind of good. I did feel a little bad as she was talking, but not enough to undo it. Like, eh. Who knows, maybe we can still find a way to save Monica. I don't know how. Uh, but I'm curious now. I'm gonna look at the files again. Um, just cause I'm curious. Browse local files. Wink. Uh, yeah, Monica's in there, but Sayori and all of them are back. Oops. And my first run page is still there, so she didn't delete my first run. So... I guess that is gonna do it for this episode then. In the next episode. Uh, hold on. I'm curious about. Hmm. Nothing new here. Any help? Well, help us probably just open up. Yeah, help just opens up that same thing. Um, uh, return. Is there anything that. Oopsie. It opened my browser. <laughs> It's just the same thing. Um. Uh, 
I'm, I'm making sure I'm still recording. Uh, is there anything I can load? Nope. Well, seems like we're back to square one. Only this square has now become a triangle, apparently, since we only have three. So, that is going to do it for this episode, then. In the next episode, we will be starting a quote-unquote new game in which there is no Monica. But then again, if there's no Monica, how is there a literature club? Because she's the one that started it. Either way, it's going to be interesting. But until then... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If you got any tips or tricks or anything you want to see me do, comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!